Welcome to Smithville Tech Support. Everyone has experienced a situation when watching a program on a streaming service like Netflix or in the middle of playing a game online and everything freezes. Frustrating as it may be, here are a few troubleshooting tips you can do to save time when speaking to a technician on the phone, which may potentially resolve your issue. To begin, while there are many lights on your modem, the most important for troubleshooting purposes is the DSL or ADSL light. This light should be on solidly. It may flicker, but should not flash. If the DSL light flashes like a turn signal, then your modem is searching for a connection. This video will show you what steps to take when the modem searches for a signal but does not connect. Now that you have determined that your modem is not connecting, it is time to figure out the root cause of the issue. First, if you have DSL internet and phone, you will want to make sure that all devices plugged into the phone line excluding the modem have filters attached to them. These, shown here, should be placed between the line and the jack. Again, you should not have one of these devices on your modem, but every other device that connects to the phone line will need a phone filter. Some examples of devices that might not be so obvious that connect into the line that require filters include answering machines, cable boxes, fax machines, and even heart monitors. If you do not have filters on one or more of these devices, then you'll want to call our tech support department and they will send you however many filters you need for free. Their 24-7 toll-free phone number is 866-470-2583. You may have a situation where the phone and the modem share the same jack. You will know if this is the case because you will have a splitter that comes off the jack and then forks into two with one side marked phone and the other side labeled DSL or internet. This, which we also provide for free to our customers, is a filter-splitter combo and functions just as a filter would. Just make sure the modem and the phone line are on their designated sides. If they are not, this will also cause issues with your internet connection. Now that you have determined that all of your devices have filters, unplug the modem from the power outlet and plug it back in. If the modem does not connect at this point, you will want to remove all devices from the phone line and plug the modem directly into the wall. To do this, just take off any splitters or phones that are on the line. If the internet returns, then you likely have a bad splitter or filter. If this is the case, simply call our tech support department and we'll mail you replacements for free. Now check the phone line. If there was static on the line and this has now disappeared, then you have a bad filter. In that case, it is probably best to replace them all. Again, call our technical support department to have them mailed out right away. One last thing you can check to try to get your internet back up and going is to check the phone cord that runs from the wall to the modem. Make sure the cord is securely connected at both ends and the cord is under six feet long. If it is and you have another cord handy, you may want to swap that cord out for another one. Copper wiring is known to degrade over time. Finally, if you have another jack in the house, try that one as well. If the modem connects, it is likely that there is a problem with the original jack. Following these steps will help us narrow down your issue and will better assist our technicians in determining where the problem lies. If the DSL light is solid and you still don't have internet, then you may be having an issue with your wireless router or the ethernet cable that connects the router to your DSL. To troubleshoot this issue and to see if you are having a router related issue or if you have questions or need more help, contact us and a technical support specialist will be happy to assist you. Again, that number is 866-470-2583. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, be sure to subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash smithville media, where you will find more technical support videos and other great local content.